Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time we're back to Zombicide Black Plague. It's been a while, I apologize. I'm very busy, but we're back at it again. So we have Baldrick's Bumbling Band taking on this time quest number six, which is In Caligine Abitus. Abitus, <laughs> I think is the name of it. Well, let's take a look here. We'll see what it says. It says, we're now in the city, but not as close to the necromancers as we would like. The area is eerily quiet, and there's a desolation as far as the eye can see that won't last. As soon as they have, they, as soon as they locate us, they'll be rushing to kill us. We must proceed as stealthily as possible. Uh, all right, it says uh, Clovis and Baldric both noticed strange Latin writings on some walls. It seems someone has used a network of underground passages to get around town, and Clovis is right when he says that not everything. Uh, everybody knows Latin. Only the highly educated know this language on sight. Not to mention being able to uh, to read it or to write it. It's probably a necromancer. Wait, Clovis knows how to read. <laughs> so what we need to do is uh, we need to get through the hidden passages. Uh, and yeah, so that's what we basically we need to do. So we have a blue door down in the bottom, which you can't quite see, and a green door. We have, of course, the objective tokens around the board. We need to get to them. We need to find the green one, the green key. We need to find the blue key. And we need to exit uh, out as far as we can. All right, so as far as setup goes, there are two um, items, uh, relics, artifacts, in the yellow vault, which the yellow vault door is right there. So if we can get down to the yellow vault, we can get two um, item or two artifacts. Playing with five characters, I always play with five, not six. I guess that makes it a little more challenging. So we have Clovis, we have Baldrick, we have three other special guests this time. So let's take a look at our characters and then we'll do the first round. All right, not sure how well this is focusing. We have Clovis here, he's got a short sword starting out with, uh, and he has plus one die melee. So when he attacks with melee weapon, he gets to roll one extra die. All right, let's take a look at our first guest this time. First up on the guest list is Carl. He's basically a magic user. He's gonna be using uh, Mana Blast. Uh, he can put Fireball up in his um, extra, in his armor slot. Of course, Clovis can put a shield in his armor slot. And he has plus one die magic. So basically, he, when he's casting a magic spell, he gets to roll one extra die. That's his starting ability. Now let's take a look at our next character. And next up, of course, we have Baldrick himself. We know all about him. We played him every single time. He's got Mana Blast. He's starting with his Spellcaster, which means he gets, a, he gets to cast a free spell once per turn. So that's basically Baldrick. We know all about him. Let's take a look at our next guest star for this, uh, for this episode. All right, and next up we have the Brutal Gak. <laughs> or Gark? Gak. G. Gar. It's not a K, it's an R. Gar. We start him out with a hammer. Hammers, of course, can take down fatties. He has uh, Reaper Melee, which means if he scores at least one melee hit, he gets to do one bonus extra hit against any enemy. Uh, but not a hit, so, uh, so if he does one damage, he gets to do two damage, but he won't be able to take down a fatty. If you kind of follow that logic, he gets to kill one extra, basically, walker with that ability. That's a starting ability. We'll get into him as he levels up. And let's take a look at our last character that's going to be joining the quest this time. And our final character is Spellbotties. I should have put my glasses on. Uh, Spellbotties. <laughs> Spellbitties, biteies. I'll <laughs> figure it out eventually. He's starting out with a hammer as well. Uh, and he's lucky. So his lucky ability... Uh, oh, and of course we can put a short sword up in, in Baldrick's and... Gar's uh, slot. This guy here, he can put the Ghost Sight spell in his uh, armor slot if he wants, if we does find armor. What does Lucky mean? Lucky means every time you roll a die for your actions. So if he does an action, he wants to open a door, he gets to roll a die based on the number of uh, attack dice for his weapon, etc. He gets to re-roll it once every time that you have to take the second roll. So that's what Lucky means. All right, without further ado, I think we're just going to get into the game. So we're up first is Clovis, then Carl, then Baldrick, Gar, and Spellbotties. Spellbottles? Spellbotties goes last. 
So I think I'm going to do one turn for this episode, uh, and we'll uh, we'll call it a day. Uh, and uh, so let's get to it. All right. So starting off, we have Clovis. Clovis here is uh, in the red player. So I got to remember to grab the correct miniatures. Sometimes I do not. Um, of course, we have three actions on our turn. He's got plus one die melee. So let's have him. We have an objective in this room over here. We have an objective in this room here. We need to get in both of those rooms, obviously, as quickly as we can. Let's go ahead and we'll move Clovis. He's going to take one action to move here. His second action will be to try and open that door. And with a short sword, he gets uh, one die hitting on a four plus. So basically, he's going to be rolling, we're going to be rolling one die. And if he hits on a four plus, he will open the door. So let's see what he can do. And he rolls a four, which is awesome. It opens the door perfectly. So we get the door open. And yes, I have the little 3D uh, doors, door set for the game, which is actually awesome. I love it, works really well. All right, I'm gonna re readjust the camera. He's got one action left, but we have to spawn in that room. All right, so Clovis cracks open the door, and let's find out what's going to spawn in there. We take a card off the top of the deck, and really, we have a Necromancer. Spawn a Necromancer with its Necromancer spawn zone, all Necromancers. Wow. <laughs> so right off the bat, we get, he opens the door, and in here is a Necromancer. Necromancers come with their own handy-dandy spawn point. So we'll put the Necromancer spawn point there. It immediately spawns as well, because Necromancers, of course, are never alone. So we'll see what he spawns with. And he spawns with a fatty. Holy gosh. Okay, so he's in here doing some nefarious thing with a fatty. That is, um, that is not the greatest. Clovis now has one action left. Can't really do much. I think we're going to move Clovis down the street one space, because I want him to get these doors open on the next round. So that's what happens here on Clovis's turn. That's the end of Clovis's turn. Up next we have Carl, who is in the yellow, uh, here as I knock Baldrick over. Uh, so we have to think about what I want to do with Carl, and then we'll come right back. All right, up next is Carl here in the yellow, of course. Now we got a problem because we have a fatty in here. The fatty is going to take damage before the Necromancer does. So even if we bring him up here and use the Mana Blast, it only does one damage. We cannot kill the fatty. We can't kill the uh, the Necromancer. Uh, and so for a very boring uh, turn for Carl, we're just going to have him come right down here to these doors. So with three actions, he's going to go one, two, three, getting him in position. So when we open up these doors, in a later turn, because really he can't do anything in there at the moment, which is kind of not good. <laughs> so that's really it for Carl. Very boring. Likewise for Baldrick. He also has Mana Blast. He can do nothing against these enemies. So Baldrick's turn is also going to be likewise very boring. He's going to go one, two, three and join uh, his fellow uh, ma magic user right down here in front of these doors. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more thinking because now we have Gar and we have Spell Bones, if I can read correctly. They both have hammers. They're able to take out a fatty with one hit. They only have three actions though. So let's hope we can get some good rolls. I think I know what we're going to do with them. So up next is Gar. I'm going to readjust the camera and we're going to have Gar take a turn. All right, we got a bit of a problem. So Gar's got three actions. What he's going to do, oh my god, with his three actions, he's going to go one, two into the room. And his third action is he will melee attack the Necromancer. We'll try and get rid of him because it gets rid of his spawn point. So I'm going to grab, reaching right across, of course, uh, to get the dice tower. And we're going to see if he can roll. He's using a hammer, rolling one die. Uh, and gets a hit on a four plus. Now the the melee, Reaper melee means he can kill an identical zombie to the one he just attacked. Uh, and of course there's no identicals. There's one Necromancer, one Fatty. All right, let's see if he can get a four plus. And he gets a one, which is not a hit. <laughs> so that was a failure. So he's sitting in there with a Necromancer and a Fatty. We're off to a great start. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that was, um, wow. That was Gar's turn, so our special guests are not doing a heck of a lot. All right, let's go to Spellbones. Spellbones is going to do exactly the same thing. It's going to go one, two into the room. 
uh, and he's going to be trying to hit the Necromancer with his hammer. Uh, we need a four plus small, and we get... He also rolls a one. So our guest stars for this episode are probably going to die quickly. <laughs> That's going to be up to Baldrick and Clovis to finish off uh, the entire episode himself. Now, of course, you fail the scenario if any one survivor dies. I'm not playing it that way. I am playing it that the any survivors that live through the scenario and escape, we will win the scenario. So we can have some characters perish. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, I guess we're leaving it off here. This is a very short episode. I apologize for that. But there is that. I have, again, not a lot of time. I'm trying to get some episodes out finally here in January 2020. Uh, and so we're going to continue on as soon as I can uh, shoot another episode, of course. So this is um, Quest 6, uh, which basically means Hidden in the Darkness, is what in Caligine Abditus means, I guess in Latin. I'm not, I don't speak Latin, so I don't really know. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be. All right, so thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Really appreciate it. I also uh, Twitch stream three days a week as well. Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, and Sunday afternoon. Uh, if you want to catch a stream there, I do uh, computer games. Uh, right now I'm playing Fallout 3. Having a lot of fun with that. If you want to come hang out as well, there you can. Now there's a link to my Twitch channel in the banner heading on YouTube here in the bottom right corner of the banner. All right, thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next episode. And of course, having not played <laughs> Zombie Side Black Plague in forever, I've totally forgotten. Of course, the zombies get their turn. Well, what is the first thing that happens is the zombies get to go. Uh, there are two zombies. There's a fatty necromancer in the same space with our two heroes, which means they're going to be doing damage. We have no armor, so I'm just going to distribute the damage nicely. Gar is going to take one damage. So is Spellbones. They go from three hit points down to two. They're a long ways from dying yet. And now we have to spawn. So what I'm going to do for spawning is we're going to do upper left, upper right, bottom left, bottom right. Let's get spawning. We've got four spawn points to add zombies to the board. Oh my goodness. All right, spawn point number one. We have, in the blue, we got two walkers. Wow, we're starting off absolutely pretty horribly. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. I really don't. So we get two walkers showing up right here. Delightful. All right, over we go to the upper right. All right, so spawning in the upper right, we have, what do we have off the top? We have one walker. Okay, we can live with one walker, I guess. Oh man. All right, bottom left corner, we go. And I guess I should point out our exit is here in the bottom left corner through a blue uh, crypt. Tomb. All right, so bottom left corner, we have two more walkers. Holy jumping, we're, uh, I don't remember it being quite this crazy. We've got a Necromancer already, two walkers. That's five walkers on the board now. Bottom right to finish off our spawning. And down at the bottom right, we have another spawn point, which is no one, no one. So finally, <laughs> we catch a break. All right, now I'm going to zoom up. We don't really need to recap everything, but we'll zoom out and just wrap up quickly. All right, so we've got Baldrick and we have Carl, Clovis over here. We have our two Gar and Spellbones stuck in a room with a fatty. The Necromancer, and that's going to be the end of our episode for today. I apologize, totally forgot about the zombie turn. Wow. All right, so thanks so much, and uh, yeah, we're going to see you hopefully soon uh, in the next episode. This is Zombie Side Black Plague. We're doing quest number six. Um, I'm going to call it Hidden in the Darkness instead of trying to pronounce the Latin, which I can't do. All right, we'll see you soon. And, oh my good lord, yes, I completely forgot about the Necromancer spawn point. We need to spawn there as well. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and spawn the Necromancer spawn point. We get another fatty. Boy, it's a good thing that um, we have the two characters in this room that actually have hammers, both of them, to be able to take out the fatties. All right, that's going to end us off. I don't think I have to film anything else today. I do believe I caught everything finally. Um, and that's going to end off our episode. So, my goodness. Sorry for this, uh, but we'll see you hopefully soon in the next episode. Wow. <laughs>